Welcome my dear students. Today I'm going to discuss Unit 3, the future of food. Here we have some collocations. The collocation is a verb plus a noun. In Unit 1 we have taken uh, many collocations and in Unit 2, 2. We have taken many collocations. A verb plus a noun. Become a vegetarian. Buy stuff, not stab, that's stuff. Cause damage, damage the environment, earn money, get warmer, give an opinion, grow crops, introduce a problem, invest money, keep livestock, make money from, mess anything important like mess the class or mess the boss, offer the best solution, produce gases, save money, show the order, speculate about the future, start fires, take ages, take time, tell the difference, write a summary. Here, each collocation has a specific meaning. Here we have an exercise about uh, collocations. I don't know how much money he makes and earns. The solution you have offered perfect the livestock he keeps he takes uh, or he looks after them is it mr ashraf who has introduced we use will to speculate about the future it uh, took me ages it took long time to finish the writing of that book i was asked to give my opinion the crops growing on our farm are watered directly from the Nile. They invested millions of dollars in tourism. Cutting down rainforests damages perfect. Here we have uh, some synonyms for each word. Synonym means meaning. Extraordinary, amazing. Involve, include. Uh, keep save or keep race original first original real uh, protective means useful or rich run manage or be in charge of summary outline sustain maintain variety may be diversity sort type or kind so which answer we're going to choose we have a b c and z okay which one we have to choose we have to choose the answer which suits the sentence. We have to choose the answer according to the meaning of the sentence. Here we have some antonyms. Extraordinary, the opposite of it is ordinary. Involve, exclude. Keep, lose or throw away. Keep, give up or stop. Keep, break, original, fake. Poor soil, rich soil. Protective, unprotective, sustainable, unsustainable. Okay, so we have to determine which word we have to choose according to the sentence. Let's check this exercise. We must respect and encourage the variety of ideas. The word variety here means diversity. Perfect. This forest has 50 varieties of insects. Variety here means sorts or classes. Saleh wasn't involved in the team. He wasn't with us in the team. He was excluded. This station is no original. Original here is an opposite of fake. Perfect. He kept his promise. Kept here means respected his promise. It's an Antonym or opposite with broke. The teacher asked me to write an outline. Here, outline means summary. My father keeps all bins in an old box. Bill here is an opposite with throw away. Keep here is an opposite of throw away. He kept do looking at the sea in silence. 
kept here means went on, continued. Which of the following gives the meaning of keeps in he keeps livestock? He looks after, raises, perfect. He runs a supermarket. This means he works, speeds, no, manages. Good job. Here we have some expressions and idioms you have to study. They are useful while writing or speaking. A new capital city, according to, uh, as much as you can or as much as possible, due to the fact that farming techniques, food production, good for plant life, poor soil, so what? Uh, the main idea, the order in which then the original text. So we have many, many exhibitions at the Egypt. They are so fruitful. Less than usual. Welcome to. Wrong with. Here we have some verbs and prepositions. Continue to. Cut down. Deal with. Encourage someone to do something. Explain the lesson to the students. Feel about. Focus on. Heal up. Learn about, look after, persuade someone to study, remove uh, someone from uh, something, sell uh, maybe a cell phone to the customer, think about. Here we have uh, many verbs followed by prepositions. These verbs are very important while writing and speaking. If we change the verb or the preposition, the meaning would be completely changed. Let's check this exercise. Cutting rainforest will make the climate heat up. We will need to work hard for many years to come to rebuild our country. It is a necessity to stop cutting down. We need to grow food more sustainably. A bulb tree can grow to 10 meters. I can say can grow by or grow with. Plants do not grow well in poor soil. You must need to fill in this form accurately. Fill it means to write down your information. To conclude, it means finally or to sum up he has lost up to five kilograms lately she lost her necklace that's the reason why she looked unhappy perfect good job here we have calmly confusing words agriculture and farming mr gamian studied agriculture at the Chance university in Egypt, agriculture should be one of the main sources of national income. But farming, sheep farming is common in Australia. So we have agriculture means uh, when you grow crops. But farming, crops and animals. Perfect. The difference between source and resource. Your success is uh, the source of our happiness. Okay, so the source, but here Egypt has a lot of natural resources. Got the difference? Got it? Grow. Rainforests grow in areas with heavy rain. Grow here means uh, when you grow plants or you grow crops, the sheep on the farm grew in number. Here grow plus no object, no object here. Rainforest to grow. When children grow old, the sheep on the farm grew in number. No object here. But if we have grow plus adjective, it means become. The boy grew tall. The boy became tall. Grow plus object. Farmers grow food. Here we have staff and stuff. Staff, the first one is 
people who work at specific place. The new manager is meeting the staff for the first time tomorrow. But the second word is stuff. I don't like the stuff you were eating. What is it called? The shop sells all kinds of uh, stuff. Stuff here means things. Summary and abbreviation. I didn't read the novel itself. I only read uh, a summary of it. The, sum the, the summary here means the events huh, in a summarized way, in a short way or in a short form. Well, the abbreviation, DR is the abbreviation of the title doctor. Okay, like... Uh, um, maybe uh, www okay um, livestock is sold in this market on Wednesday livestock are sold in this market on Wednesday cattle cattle are sold in this market on uh, Wednesday Livestock is uncountable or countable. It's uh, a collective noun. We can say livestock is or livestock are. But cattle are. Don't say cattle is. Say cattle are. Let's uh, check this exercise. Mr. Amy asked me to write a summary. SOS is uh, an abbreviation. Is the practice or the science of growing plants, agriculture, livestock, farming. I'm a member of the teaching staff of this school, said Mr. Ashraf. Where are the campaign staff? The educational tablet has become one of the most important learning resources. The broken kitchen pipe is the source of the water on the kitchen floor. Thanks for your time.